Shalom fam, shalom fam. What a beautiful Sabbath today. What a beautiful Sabbath today. Um, Just want to say, y'all works in mysterious ways. He had two sisters tell me, hey, continue making videos. Just continue. All praise to the most high. So, but I want to say this is those camps. A lot of our brothers and sisters are in these camps on the street corners, all these Hebrew Israelite camps. And you see these camps cursing out people and all these other people. They're not showing the fruits of the spirit. Remember, y'all willed all this to happen, you know? And he also said, be careful who you may entertain because you might be entertaining angels. Don't you got blocks in your eyes too? Don't you fall short too? You know, don't you fall short too? I fall short too. I have blocks in my eyes as well too. Then our ancestors mess up. But then y'all also said, he told Abraham, <laughs> your people will be in a nation for 400 years. So all you ones that are on the street corners, you're actually making a mockery. You're not showing the fruits of the spirit. You're also causing an embarrassment to our people. Yeah, you speak the word of the Most High, but you're not showing the fruits. He said, be humble, have humility, temperance, patience. Let Yah, let his spirit flow through us. He said, worship him in spirit and truth. So be careful who you may entertain out there on the street corners because you might be entertaining the angel. Remember, Yah is the creator of good and evil. Satan has no power over the creator. You know that, right? So, humbly, let's just learn and come back to the scriptures and ask Yah for wisdom, knowledge, understanding of him. Learn his personality. Even though his ways are not our ways, his thoughts are not our thoughts. But, if we are worshiping the spirit and truth and keeping his commandments and learning him, we are one and we will present ourselves as light in the world for others to come to the light. But when you're acting out of your flesh, you're acting out of darkness and you're going to push people away that very much want to know the truth. All praise to the Most High Yah. All praise to the Most High Yah. Shalom. Don't be scared, now rise up. Put your hands in the skies. What say, Abba Yah, pray Yah, what? Let's focus right and get it, man. All pray to the most I fear, man. My Yah, not out of his fear, man. Ain't no other deities gonna lift this, man. Hey, burn the wicked with the idols. This is for your survival. Tear down them idols. My Yah has no rival. This David versus Goliath. Abba Yah, right here inside of us. All pray to the most I got us. All pray to the most I fight us. All right, here we go with another video. In this episode, we're going to be dealing with a Israelite camp hater, a weak, effeminate, right, a uh, worldly predator head. <laughs> Got a problem with the camps. Mr. Predator Head has a problem with the camps. All right, so all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. This video will be entitled Hebrew Israelite Camps. Are an embarrassment to our people. Yep, this is what this guy said. Now, I didn't want to title the video Message to the Hebrews Like Camps because I just did a video yesterday in response to Message to the Hebrews Like Community. So, this one I changed up a little bit. But you heard this guy now in the beginning. I played his video, right? His rant, his little, uh, I don't know what, what you would call it a non-edifying video no scriptures being read and really this dude is just emotional and he, he has a problem with male authority he's probably raised in a single parent home he has a problem anytime 
you black people in America, whenever you see male authority or male dominated things, you automatically have a problem with it because you're small on the inside. And this dude is small on the inside, all right? And then I put a little short clip in there of his his whack, his whack rap, okay? Worldly garbage. And you Israelite rappers, man, you, you really, you just need to hang it up. Some worldly shit. What do you think you're going to accomplish by doing that? You got a problem with the camps. But what we doing is, you know, the Lord is, is, is using brothers to wake his people up with the truth. Meanwhile, you're making grade F songs. So you don't know what's going on, man. All right. Now, let's deal with this video. So what this guy was saying, and by the way, his name is Yalos. Yalos. <laughs> Yah lost, you lost. Number one, the Most High's name is not Yah. The name is Yahweh. Over two thousand, I'm sorry, over six thousand times. When you see the word Lord in all capitals, the name is Yahweh. Maybe one time is mentioned as the word Yah, and that's not the Heavenly Father's personal name. It's not his proper name. His name is Yahweh, but you're not gonna receive that. And his son, who you never mentioned. I don't even believe you believe in the Savior. His name is Yahweh Shai, which would which would explain the reason why you Old Testament or why you 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 camp hating Israelites. You hate the camps because you don't have the Spirit in you because the Holy Spirit hasn't been sent unto you. It's got to be sent and conducted by Yahweh Shai himself. That's why you don't have the Spirit, man. That's why your songs are so whack. <laughs> no Spirit. Anyway, Another thing that you said that was an error among the many things that you said, you said a lot of brothers and sisters in these camps. No, ain't no women part of no camp. The camp is a is a group of teachers of the word, and women ain't supposed to be preaching. Ain't no women in no camps. They might be part of the congregation. I have to explain this to you guys because you're on a low level, man. You don't know nothing, you know. And people gonna have a problem with with you know with the insults, but that's what we're supposed to do. It's supposed to insult you and embarrass you because you're we're not the embarrassment you're the embarrassment your your fear you stink of fear and you on a low ass level now he said quite a few things there that that got on my nerves all right first off let's read here you need to understand you know this dude acts as if us preaching on the highways and hedges is doing something wrong you know like we're how are we causing you embarrassment by preaching the gospel? The scriptures say we ought to obey the most high rather than men. That's Acts chapter 5. But of course you don't know that because you probably don't read the New Testament. You know? And, and, and look. Dreadlocks are going off. It's a heathen custom. The Hebrew Israelites never had a custom of no fucking dreadlocks. No dirty, stank, matted, nasty, sour, dead hair. You just won't find it in the scriptures. You can play with the word. Samson had locks. You know. <laughs> Samson didn't have no fucking dreadlocks. Okay. <laughs> I mean if a, if a so called black man hair grows long. What does he get? He gets an afro before he gets some hair down his damn back. Anyway. Samson had seven individually woven braids. He didn't have no dreadlocks. All right, so let's deal with this. So first thing we want to go into, you people love to say that, that that we yelling at people, we cussing at people, this, that, and the other. We are preaching the word. We're doing the job that the Heavenly Father sent us forth to do. Before we get into that, I want to go real quick and show you, and these Jakes love to holler about we, we are, are an embarrassment to our people. Do you not know pursuing to the curses that the Most High said that we would be looked down upon and we didn't make it this way this is deuteronomy 28 verse 37 and thou shalt become an astonishment a proverb and a byword among all nations whither the lord shall lead thee do you hear that that's a curse that's on us so before we ever went on the highways and hedges we were being looked down upon we were being talked about we were being called out of our names and it didn't come from us it comes from the heavenly father but yalos doesn't understand the scriptures because he's a tadpole he's still black the nlt you will become an object of horror ridicule and mockery among all the nations to which the lord sends you it's plain and you can't get around it let's get another one 
This one will be Lamentations. Chapter 2. Let's go here to verse 15. It says, All that pass by thee clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? They looking down on us. Before we ever went out there and, and said one word out of the scriptures, people were looking down on the Israelites because this is a condition that was given by the Heavenly Father for our punishment. What we're doing is we calling the nation back. We call them really at the end of the day. We ain't out there for all the Israelites. We out there for the elect of the Israelites. Something else that goes over your big predator head. Thinking you correcting us. Meanwhile, you spending all your time trying to make some whack songs that are never going to see the light of day. And no one cares. No one cares. Your rap is small. Lamentations 4 verse 1. <clears throat> How is the most gold? Salakia. How is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out on the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion comparable to fine gold. How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? The work of the hands of the potter. <coughs> How do we go from being praised in the earth to such a low condition? Did the Hebrews like camps make that happen? Hell no. It was brought on us by the Heavenly Father. You see, you weird Israelites, you niggas learned a few scriptures, you find out you was Israelites, next thing you know, you think you're the authority on everything. You ain't the prophets, man. Okay? You're a bugged out wannabe rapper. You ain't even a rapper. You a wannabe rapper. Grade D at best. Okay? Best thing about your music is your studio look kind of nice, but other than that, you ain't nice. You ain't got it. As the elder apostles always tell us, elder apostle Gabar specifically, if the most high wanted rappers he would get the best he wouldn't get you let's read that from the nlt lamentations 4 and 1 how the gold has lost its luster even the finest gold has become dull the sacred gemstones lie scattered in the streets see how the precious children of jerusalem worth their weight in fine gold are now treated like pots of clay made by a common potter see that we are on a low we came down to a low condition because that's what the Heavenly Father wanted for us. It ain't because of something we did. You Jakes is played out trying to blame our condition on us. Saying that we're an embarrassment to the nation. No, you weak niggas is an embarrassment to the nation. Grown men walking around the earth with their hair like women. Hair like the idols of other nations. You got a song called Idols. Meanwhile, you got your hair like an idol. You didn't know that Dreadlocks was another name for Shiva Jatas? Going after the after the illicit worship of the false goddess Shiva, you didn't know that. You niggas with dreadlocks really need to learn. If you go here and you type in, let's 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 show you real quick. Hindu Salakia. Type this in Hindu Shiva. <clears throat> Watch you see. <laughs> fucking dreadlocks pop up you got a song about idols meanwhile you got your hair like an idol you see it look at Shiva what do you see on Shiva dreadlocks which is really Shiva Jatas see this then I find a better picture <clears throat> look at Shiva hair down her damn back it's like you look at that what do you see? You see Shiva Jatas. That's what dreadlocks really are. And when you have them, you're worshiping the false god of Shiva indirectly. Because this is what the Rastafarians really doing. And the Hindus, this is what they're doing. And you got them in your head. Got a song called Idols. Meanwhile, you worshiping an idol unknowingly. Look at that. Anyway, just wanted to poke fun of this guy. Let me show you this. Let's see. <clears throat> you see it? You see this right here? And I did a video on this one time. Dreadlocks. East Indian people have them. See that? This is this is you. 
<laughs> this is you. They tell you that lie. You look like a lion. You don't look like no goddamn lion. See that? That's you. Hindu. <laughs> Hindu Israelites trying to be like Shiva, the false goddess. It's a heathen custom, cuz. Anyway, what else can we deal with coming to, you know, pertaining to this guy? And I just bring some scriptures out. He went on talking about we cursing out people. You know, we talk, we uh, uh, talking loud to people. Now he mentioned, you know, about entertaining angels. Let's read that. Hebrews 13 and 1. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels. Do you really think we out there we be cussing out the angels? The angels are with what we doing. You wouldn't know that though. And that's really just for the for the brotherhood. It ain't talking about ain't no regular Jake out there in the world. You know, here it is, we teach we preaching the word, but some kind of way we we gonna recognize in the spirit, right? Being spiritual if men are angels or not. Us preaching the gospel is not a sin. This dude acting like it's a sin or something. Be careful, you might be look, we ain't cussing out nobody. We ain't never cussed out nobody who didn't deserve it. And cursing people out is not a sin, by the way. Okay? Because it's in our heritage that we can condemn anybody coming against coming against our heavenly father and against our nation. This is Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment. What? Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shall condemn. Why? This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me saith the Lord whose name is Yahweh. So guess what Yalos? We in the right be telling people off to cuss them out to put them in their place because we you act like all we do is just go out there and we just cuss people out and you see people getting cussed out because usually they done something to us they're trying to interrupt the word you act like we don't have rights we got a right to go out there and preach the word it's in our heritage to preach the word and condemn anybody coming against the truth we just read it to you man not that you're gonna care because you ain't you ain't really gonna pay attention to the word too much let's read that again isaiah 54 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shall condemn y'all why they're cursing people well, what is cursing condemning that in the true sense of the word a curse is a con condemnation to wish evil on so when we condemn you we wish an evil on you and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shall condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and their righteousness is of me, saith Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's get the NLT. See what it says. But in the in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication will come from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. I'm not crazy about that translation. But it, it, it serves a purpose. Let's keep going. Now, do you realize that us preaching the gospel is what was told to us to do? The son of the heavenly father told us to go out in the highways and preach the gospel. Matthew 22 verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways. Where's the highways at? Yalos. Outside. They ain't in the house. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. Oh, you know, look, I don't read the old, the New Testament. It's in the Old Testament too. What you going off of that? You ain't got no savior, Yalos. You, oh, I, I take it back. You got a savior, but you don't believe in him. Jeremiah five verse one: Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem. Who we'll see that right there? See the streets of Jerusalem. Y'all ain't in Jerusalem. We in exile. So now Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So wherever Israelites are, that's Jerusalem. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places. Where's the broad places? Outside. Seek in the broad places thereof. If you can find a man, if there be any that executed judgment that seeketh the truth and I will pardon it. So the Heavenly Father said that we find men that seeking the truth, he will pardon them. You ain't going to find men seeking pardons or seeking the truth inside the house. 
Now I want to go back to Hebrews 13 Let brotherly love continue Right So what's the brotherly love based upon Who are our brothers Now we know that there's two kinds of brothers Sure every Israelite is our brother Right That ain't extended to the other nations But more importantly You have our brothers in the spirit Those that are like minded as us that don't, that don't cover every Israelite Let's prove that <clears throat> This is now Matthew 12 And verse 46 While he yet talked to the people Behold his mother and brethren Stood without Desiring to speak with him Then one said unto him Behold thy mother and thy brethren Stand without Desiring to speak with thee But he answered and said unto them Unto him that told him Who is my mother And who are my brethren And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples And said behold My mother and my brethren For whosoever shall do the will Of my father which is in heaven the same as my brother and sister and mother so all you play it safe stay in your lane don't offend nobody israelites you ain't our brothers you brothers of the world that's why you do a worldly practice that's why you're trying to make rap songs because you're worldly you're of the world jake and really you need to stay out of our business just mind your mind your whack grade f rap business that's what you need to worry about then i give you grade d you ain't quite an F, but you a D. Hebrews 13 and 1, let brotherly love continue. What we doing is brotherly love. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels. And we have had angels visit our camps. You can't say that. You don't have no camp, number one. You, you're spiritless, you're nutless, you're gutless, and you're, for the most part, you're talentless. Just because you can make some words rhyme, some sentences rhyme, don't mean you got talent. It really doesn't. And you don't have talent. You should hang it up. Now, when we out there and we being aggressive, the Lord told us to do that. Isaiah 58 verse 1. Cry aloud. Y'all out there yelling at people. You think we yelling because we crying aloud. It's in the scriptures. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. You out there yelling at people. You an embarrassment to our people. No, you're an embarrassment to our people. You church mouse. You weakling. You pussy clod. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression. And the house of Jacob their sins. We got permission to do this. The Heavenly Father told us he gave us an order to do that. And you ain't got nothing to say. 2 Timothy 4 verse 1. I charge thee therefore before the Most High and the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Are you preaching the word, Yalos? No. You're not preaching the word. You preach. You don't preach from inside. You preach the word outside. This proves it. Be instant in season, out of season. Why is it mentioned in the seasons? Because you're going to be outside. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Hold up. Can we go to the word reprove right here? If you go to the word reprove, it explains a lot. In the Greek, it is the word elegho. And this is what it means. To convict, refute, confute, generally with the suggestion of shame of the person convicted. You hear that? We out there cussing out people, y'all yelling at people. We getting on them for their sin and their iniquity. By conviction to bring to the light, to expose, to find fault with, to correct by word. To reprehend severely. When you reprehend somebody, what are you doing? Reprimand. What else? To voice disapproval of. <laughs> you people really are just, just shut the hell up. 
you're supposed to voice disapproval of these people to reprehend severely chide admonish reprove to call to account show one his fault demand an explanation see to confute admonish convict convince tell a fault re rebuke reprove we're well within our rights to do all of these things you see so that little weak shit that little emotional shit you did that for them women leave all the emotional baggage indoors right along with the emotional guys and emotional men you're not even a man you're a boy you had the spirit of a boy of a black boy pathetic weakling second timothy 3 and 13 you start at 12 yeah and all that li will live godly in the anointed yahweh shah shall suffer persecution and just this week alone we've heard y'all need to give that hebrew israelite shit up right you israelite camps are embarrassing to our nation and another guy said that uh <laughs> he wants us to come back to white jesus in so many words and not so many words so that's a form of persecution but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai all scripture is given by inspiration of the most high and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness so we can reprove people get on them embarrass them correct them call them out talk loudly to them we're supposed to lift our voices up what's wrong with you that the man of the most high may be perfect thoroughly furnished into all good works we are doing a good work the heavenly father sent us forth to do a good work and we're in good company because the Savior did something very similar. Let's prove it. This is Matthew 11 and 20. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done because they repented not. What does upbraid mean, brother? Upbraid on a deed zone. And it means to reproach, upbraid, revile. What does reproach mean? Let's look it up to address someone in such a way as to express disapproval or disappointment rebuke what does upbraid mean well we already we looking up upbraid now but let's see if we can get another one upbraid upbraid you speak in an angry or critical way to someone who has done something wrong and in this case these people what have they done wrong they're being sinners Revile. What does revile mean? Revile. Verbal abuse is a type of psychological mental abuse <clears throat> that involves the use of oral, gestured, and written language direct directed to a victim. Mm. Revile. Criticizing an abusive or angrily insulting manner Woo. criticize in an abusive or angrily insulting manner revile criticize see that of de uh, of deserved reproach of undeserved reproach to revile to upbraid cast in one's teeth to defame to rail at chide taunt See, so all these things we're well within our right for doing that because our Savior did it. You people think the Savior was a pussycat. He was getting all over people. This is who was talking about. Then began he to, let's, you know, let's read up a little bit. See what he said. <clears throat> he says, he that hath ears to hear, Matthew eleven fifteen, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. 
For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He hath a devil. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. And this is the same thing. We come one way, you niggas got a problem with it. We come easy, you say we too soft. We come hard, you say we too hard. We too harsh. We need to lighten it up. And this guy right here just downright looking for somebody to blame. That's all. With his grade F, grade D rap. And his grade F speaking voice. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done because they repented not. You see that? So he upbraided cities. He got on people. Finally, <clears throat> and I don't even think I'm going to read this one. This is Matthew 23, right? Where the Savior was, you know, he called people. Listen to how he addressed them. Matthew 23, verse 33. Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? You see that? So the Savior addressed them as serpents and vipers. He called them names. Let's read in the NLT. He says, it started 32. Go ahead and finish what your ancestors started. Snakes, sons of vipers. How will you escape the judgment of hell? See? So you really just don't know the scriptures well enough, Mr. Predator here. This is how this guy here remind me of. This especially this one over here. That's what that's how his head looked. When you look at this guy, he reminds you, his head reminds you of the predator's head. Look at him. <laughs> you can see it right there. Look at his head. Super weak. Hang it up, bro. Yalos. Okay. Yalos, you through. That's it for the video. We are not the ones embarrassing the nation. All right. The nation been embarrassed, but we going to bring through the spirit of your how about me, how shy. We bring it back dignity to our nation through our Lord and Savior, how shy. And you wouldn't know nothing about it because you don't know the Savior. You think you're the Savior. You think you're your own Savior and you're not. The most high is not dealing with you. You need a mediator, a go between. And that's the son of the almighty. Without him, you're through. As we can clearly see, you're through. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.